Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th, okay? So keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? Let's just see what we got. What do we have for a message today? Two of Wands reversed. The Devil reversed. Strength reverse. We have some sort of weakness here. We got somebody here that is not able to control themselves or they're too controlling. Things could get out of control. Things could get out of control. We have ego. We have some ego here. Could be extreme ego. Um, there is somebody that needs to make a decision. They're undecided. They're undecided. They're in their ego. They are in their ego. They are probably depressed. They may be in a state of despair. Things could be getting worse, okay? When you get cards in reverse, it's extreme, okay? So we may have somebody that is in a disastrous situation. Their energy is being drained. They could be getting sick. There could be some illness here. And it's because they can't refrain themselves or restrain themselves from going overboard. There could be some addictions here. This is somebody who may ha not have um, enough self-control. I have a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. The devil reverse. It feels like things are getting worse. Somebody needs to make a choice. They need to make a choice to stop repeating, but they're not. This is weak. There's no courage, there's lack of confidence, low self-esteem. Somebody has let, you know, I don't know, maybe it's materialism, could be lust, could be greed, could be an addiction, get the best of them. And they have not chosen to let it go, okay? The two of wands, that's like fear of change or restricting. You know, there's indecisiveness, There's there's just like... There could be a lot of self-doubt here as well, doubting that they'll be able to break free from this, but you can break free from it. You just have to master your emotions. It's going to take a lot of self-discipline, uh, okay, with the strength card. We have somebody here that needs to find their self-control, and they have not been able to as of yet. And I feel like on this day, there's a need to choose. You can break free from this addiction or bad habit or situation that you have allowed yourself to be slave to. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. But that's always a choice, you know. Um, the temptation, the feeling that it brings you is obviously too good for you to break free from it, but you can break free. It could be codependency, you know? It's like you have to find your inner strength to break free from this toxic, unhealthy situation, okay? You have to. People, Nobody's going to do it for you. If somebody's being held back from a brighter future, because they just don't have, or they think they don't have the mental strength to break free, but they do. It's in there. This is somebody that doesn't believe in themselves. And it's because they've probably been told, you know, they've probably been told that, you know, by somebody that is toxic, that they're not strong, that they're not weak, that they're pathetic, that they're lazy. You know, they've probably been told that. So 
Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth it? Is it worth investing in something? This is a dead end. This is a short-lived success. Somebody has been trying to make something grow where there's no more growth. Five of Cups reversed. The Emperor. The Emperor takes control, takes charge, brings order to a situation. This is somebody that makes a decision based on facts, based on truth, takes charge. So I think that on this day, there is a decision that needs to be made. Somebody needs to take control. They need to take control of something. Stop focusing on the past. Stop being stuck in the past. This is prolonged grief. Stop investing in the past. Stop investing. And I'm, when I say the past, some people have a one-track mind, right? Whew, I'm talking about my ex. She's talking about my ex. Your past is your past everything, okay? It's your past patterns, your past mistakes, the way your parents raised you, your friends. Yes, it could be your ex, but it could be so many other things. The emperor takes control. This is somebody that hard facts, gather your facts. Show no weakness. Take control. Master. The, the emperor is a master. You are going to have to take control of a situation that is toxic for your health, right? It's toxic. And it could be any sort of addiction or whatever it is with the devil. Things are getting worse. We got somebody here that has lost their self-control and they've lost their self-esteem as well. And it feels like they just haven't put in enough effort to change. Put in that effort. There's no reason to stay in this situation. It's not making you healthy. It's not making you any better. So anyway, it's time. And I think that, you know, there could be self-medicating here over a loss. This is, this is, this is addictions. This is self, this is like drugs, alcohol, food, spending, whatever it is, um, smoking, whatever. And this is over a loss. This is prolonged grief. You know, this is, let's bury the emotions in whatever this addiction is. Sometimes people overdo it to protect themselves. Nobody will come with me if I come near me if I'm a mess. Anyhow, this is about taking control. The emperor is somebody that makes a decision and sticks to it. So on this day, either you need to make a decision or somebody that you are dealing with is going to make a decision. Whoever this person is that is making a decision, this person is ready. They are ready for some structure. Maybe you need to get out a piece of paper and write down the plan. Write down what you need to do. Set your goals. We have somebody here that has been stuck. They've been stuck in a deep, dark place. And they've totally lost sight of their goals. There could be somebody that is making a decision for another person because this person hasn't been able to master themselves enough to do it. This could be a boss or a father or a leader or uh, could even be a mother. Whoever this person is, this person is going to be uh, taking action to bring order to a situation. It's time to focus on the future. This is a turning point. This is beginning to realize that there is still a chance. 
Stop focusing on the sorrow. Stop focusing on what happened, right? Whatever it is that happened that you need to, you know, self-medicate for, whatever it is. When I say self-medicate, again, we have a lot of one-track minds. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Self-medicating happens in many ways, okay? The star reverse. Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? This is hopeless. No faith, depression, illness, despair. We do have despair here. We have somebody here that is depleted. They're sick. And they're sick because they have chosen to not deal with whatever this toxic situation is. And I have to tell you that stress kills more than the coronavirus. Stress magnifies any disease, any ailment, any illness that you have. Why is this happening? This is happening because somebody needs to find a way to take back control. Something is happening. Somebody's sick. They, they need, this is a disaster, okay? That somebody has gotten themselves into a situation that is quite depressing and it's got, has gotten out of control. It has definitely gotten out of control. Perhaps it's time to relocate. As the Seven of Pentacles to me, and I've said it a thousand times, is a relocation card. Perhaps it's time to invest in something else. Go someplace else where the ground is fertile. We have somebody here that is definitely in a deep, dark place. They need, don't, they've lost sight of their goal. And fear has taken over. Fear of, of what? Fear of stepping into unknown territory. Fear of change with the two of wands reversed. Self-doubt. There's self-doubt here. Doubting that they won't succeed. If you don't try, you won't know. And if you don't succeed, try again. Keep trying. Don't give up. So anyway, I do believe that we have somebody that is feeling pretty hopeless. They probably have been sulking, crying, poor, poor, pitiful me over a loss. Perhaps it's time to, to remember who you are. This reminds me of the Lion King when Mufasa looks in the water. Remember who you are. In case you have forgotten. So, I feel like it is time for you to invest on the, in the future. Make a decision to take control of your life, to take control of whatever this is. If you need to block somebody, because a minute ago I had the Eight of Wands in reverse in the bottom of the deck, and I didn't show you, but I started shuffling. And I was like, well, what is that Eight of Wands? As I was talking, that's what I was saying in my head, what is that Eight of Wands? The Eight of Wands, and then I heard block, block them, block them, block them. Block those people from your life. And if that means you've got to move, this is a stalemate. Okay? You're, somebody is staying, or they're restricting themselves. This is the safest option for me to stay here. It's the safest option. 
This is, this is a deep, 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 dark place and it is not healthy at all. It's not. It's time to make a decision. Maybe you've got to write it down on paper. If you're afraid, there could be fear. There could be fear with it. Well, there is fear. With the strength reversed and the star reversed, those are both fear cards. There, it, 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 yeah, extreme. Because remember I said reversals are extreme. Extremely scared. Somebody may be scared of being alone, right? Or scared of not getting wish fulfillment ever. Or scared of not having anything. But there is a lack of inner happiness here. There's low self-esteem. There's lack of confidence. There's lack of success. Something has been overlooked. Some, it feels like oh, something has a wish. Somebody was wishing for something and it has turned into a nightmare. This is a nightmare. You can choose to wake up and step out of the nightmare at any time. So we have somebody here that is in a negative, miserable, unhappy situation. There's a lot of self-loathing. They've made a mistake. Feels like they've covered it up. Maybe it's time to own up to it. The, the, the emperor does what is best for everyone involved. Even if, you know, it hurts. This is a judge, this is a ruler, this is a person in a position of authority that has to do the right thing even if other people aren't happy about it. You may have to make a decision that is best and other people may not be happy about it. I also feel like we have a social disaster here. Somebody may be staying in a predicament because of society. Put it that way. And that is ego. That is fear. Fear of what everybody else is going to say. Who gives a shit? If your ego is that big, then perhaps you deserve to be unhappy. I'm sorry to say that. There is an opportunity for you to break free from a toxic situation. It will require you to make a hard decision. You will be presented with an option to do so. Justice. Justice reversed. So justice reversed. It could be some, some upcoming legalities. Okay, we could have somebody here that has broken the law. You know, maybe they've stolen or they've lied or they've done some... There could be some bad karma here as well. They've done something against the law. There could be an injustice. We have somebody here that's not happy with an outcome. You know, there could be an argument with no resolution in sight. The police get called. Could be. We have somebody here that has been dishonest about their feelings. Or they haven't been telling the truth in a situation. There is going to be a decision that is made. There's been some sort of lies here. The justice reverse. That's lies. Lack of integrity. Somebody hasn't been able to do the right thing. They haven't wanted to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody's going to be getting some karma. This is a disaster. You know, with the with the uh, devil reverse, that can be that can seriously be a disaster. And there is some serious weakness here with the devil and strength reverse. We got somebody here that is getting sicker. Okay. Their health is declining. And it's because they cannot control their actions.
There's a lot of anxiety and depression and there is a need to break free. But we have somebody here that cannot find their strength or their courage or their confidence to do so. So there could be a tower moment. There could be because what well, comes before the star, we talk about that. That's the, that's the tower. There could be a tower moment that happens um, that causes some sort of uh, uproar in your life that forces you to... Uh, I don't know, get help. It feels like it's get help some, or it forces you to make a decision or the decision is going to be made for you. could be made from somebody that is in a position of authority. could be somebody in the law, okay? It could, could be a judge. There could definitely be a judge here that is making a decision for somebody. Um, we have Leo. We have Capricorn. We have Leo and Capricorn. We have Aries. We have Aquarius, we have Libra, we have everybody. I mean, we could say this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there you go. Anyhow, there is a decision that is going to be made based on the facts. Somebody's not going to be happy with the outcome. Obviously, it's interesting because before I started this reading, I was thinking about haters. I was Another YouTuber was talking about haters. It wasn't a, it wasn't a tarot reader. And uh, actually, my daughter was listening to it, and I was observing from afar. And I thought, as I was walking to my, my room with my computer, I thought, well, fuck the haters. I said, I don't give a shit about the haters. I said to myself, I was, to myself, I didn't say it to her, I was saying it in my head. And I was like, who gives a shit about the haters, really? Who does? I don't. And it's interesting because it kind of plays out with this. Who cares what anybody thinks? Not everybody is going to like you. Not everybody is going to like your decisions. Too bad. They don't have to like you. You don't have to like them. You need to make the best decision for yourself that is going to bring you optimal health and not keep you in a deep, dark place. Perhaps it's time to get out a piece of paper and write down your goals and, and do it. So anyway, um, I feel like on this day there's a, is going to be a decision that is made. I think it's a final decision. And I do not believe that uh, somebody is going to be happy with the decision that is made. We, I think that, that there's going to be some sadness. Okay, I think there could be some tears that are shed. We may have somebody here that, you know... Uh, has gotten sicker and sicker and sicker. Maybe they get ordered. This is an order. It is an order of some sort. They could get ordered to go someplace. It could be a sudden departure with the Two of Wands. We may have somebody here that suddenly departs. This could be, and I hate to say this for some of you, changing. It could be drug overdose. Uh, we could have somebody that is really, really sick and they end up in the hospital, you know, um, or or worse. I mean, the devil in reversed could be a disaster. It could be, it could be a death. I just got to be honest. This is an extreme case of overdoing it. This is an extreme case of unhealthy. Things are not getting better. So anyway, I would say that somebody, you know, um, could be breaking free. They may be making a sudden decision to break free from a situation or the decision could be made for them, you know. However that resonates with you. Good luck.